Now that leads us to um, two important definitions. They're actually in a ionic, or not ionic, in a covalent bond. They're actually two varieties of covalent bonds. Now we've talked about single, double, and triple, but at another level there's what we call sigma bonds. Now a sigma bond is a bond that is it's called an overlapping orbital bond. Yep, and that's what occurs in a single bond. So if we go back to this orbital picture right here, these two orbitals, this one right here and this one right here, are overlapping. So this is called a sigma bond. Now in a sigma bond, by the way, the symbol is the Greek letter uh, sigma. This also would be a sigma bond. Now actually, a side note here. This is sp2 hybridized, mm -hmm. and this is an s atomic orbital, because this is just hydrogen just with an hydrogen. atom. Yeah. So that is also a sigma bond. So in the picture I see, I see five sigma bonds right there. That's a very good AP question. How many sigma bonds and how many pi bonds are in the following compound? So let's take a look at a pi bond. Pi bonds are non-overlapping um, um, bonds. Mm, this right. is the weird one. And of course it uses the symbol pi like in mathematics. Alright, now here's the thing that's odd here. So if I have a p orbital, okay, this is an this is a p orbital. Right, that's an unhybridized atomic orbital there. And this is another one. Mm -hmm. And here's the odd thing. The electrons between this orbital and this orbital, they share. But they don't touch. Mm -hmm. Non-overlapping. Hence the dashed line and the electrons here. Are the electrons ever in between there? No. No. But somehow, there is some connection between this orbital and this orbital, even though it's like the, the force field. I yeah. mean, I don't quite understand it, frankly. And, and the interesting thing is that it could be in the top ones or the bottom ones, but together, yeah. those make one pi bond with two electrons total. Yeah, there's just one electron in each of these. We don't know if they're, sometimes they're on the top and sometimes in the bottom. And somehow they share and make a bond. That is called a pi bond. All right, so now if we take a more complex, this is that C2H4. Mm -hmm. Here's the, the molecule right here, um, written in uh, Lewis dot structure form. There are no extra electrons. And you can see the overlapping sigma bond between the C, but then this is the pi bond That's right pi here. Bond. So it turns out, how many pi bonds would this have, Mr. Sanders? One pi bond. One so pi bond. If you have a single bond, you're looking at one sigma bond. If you have a double bond, you have one sigma bond and one pi bond. So if I have like a weird compound, let's see, I have C, 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 N, and then I would need an extra H here, and I need an extra H here, and an H, and an H, and an H. Everybody copy this down for me, if you would. This would actually have two more electrons out to complete the Lewis structure. How many sigma bonds do I have in that, Mr. Sanders? All right, well, let's count our single bonds first. Let me change colors. That okay. might be easier. Okay, so this would be one, one two. two. Three, four, five. that makes like a double. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. One of the triple is nine, so nine sigma bonds. Nine seven. sigma bonds. And the right. pi bonds, I would have one there. Uh -huh. And now we haven't really talked about triple bonds. We'll do that in a minute, but that's two. And actually, the third part of the triple is also one. So, so three there are pi three bonds. pi bonds. Very AP question, how many sigma and how many oh, pi yeah. bonds in a particular structure? Very, very common. All right, now what if you have uh, two clouds? In this case, you'll have an S orbital and a P orbital, and they'll smoosh together, and they make the yellow, the hybrid orbital called, now this is SP. called SP. By the way, you realize this is S and this is P, sure. so it's SP. If there's SPP, that's SP2. It's SPPP, SP3, okay, PPP. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your little kids say, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. a three-year-old. He's obsessed. Yeah, okay. So um, you get the idea. Is this is this right here. If this carbon is sp hybridized, meaning it has two clouds, um, then he's going to have an overlapping orbital right here, and it's going to be the yellow, and this bond angle is 180 degrees, and that's what we've learned about two clouds. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you look at the picture here, we've got the S, and it, basically one of these gets smooshed together, and that becomes the, the two SP ones, and then we still have the two P orbitals, this guy and this guy, and they don't change at all. Okay, now if we want to look for a really cool picture, um, actually it's this one I want to look at, right? Yeah. Yep. This is carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is an interesting compound um, in that you, if you see right here, we have the yellow right here. That's the hybridized sp. Yeah, that's the sp orbital. And then we have the two atomic orbitals. This p orbital right here, 
okay, is interacting in that non-overlapping fashion with this orbital. And then this p orbital in the sort of um, x plane, if you will, the y plane, pardon me, and the y plane is interacting with this one, making this bond. It's as if these electrons are here are shared in some fashion, though they don't touch. So how many sigma and pi bonds would we have in carbon dioxide, Mr. Sanders? Oh, we're going to have two sigma bonds, one for each of the doubles, and then two pi bonds. Right, because the, the first bond... That, you wrote sigma twice. Oh, you're right. So this I should have written pi. That's what I meant to do. All right. Now, there's also another interesting case where you can have five clouds. What happens when you have five clouds? And by the way, actually, why don't you guys get out your shape paper, and you'll notice that in the first column in your shape paper, if you'll notice something on our chart here, it's got the sp. So if you've got two clouds, it's called sp hybridization. If it's got three clouds, it's sp2. Four clouds, sp3. Five clouds, sp3d. By the way, sometimes sp3d is called dsp3. Same thing. And then sometimes, it's a little typo in my heart, but it, it's sp3d2 if you have six clouds, or also d2sp3. All right. And the nice thing is if you add up all the exponents, assuming the s has a one exponent, they always add up to the number of clouds. That's correct. So if you've got five clouds, um, it is called DSP3. And in, in the DSP3, you take the uh, sides of a trigonal bipyramidal shape. Right? We've learned about this in the shaping deal. Mm -hmm. And if you get D2SP3, this is that octahedral shape. And that's how that works. OK? And this picture kind of illustrates the rest of it. And that looks like wow. we're just that was about a short to, one. Can you imagine? We actually made a short podcast. I know. It's great. Should wow. we just stand here and chat for a while and well, just make, make it, nice it longer long? for them? Yeah, probably, probably should. should. So what are you doing this weekend? Um, do anything nice for your wife Valentine's Day? We're going yeah. to like a movie. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, we're going to do yeah. dinner. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 We, we got to move. We have plan. kids. Babysitters are too expensive. Well, my parents, my parents, not my parents, my kids are going to be the babysitters. Our church oh, is having nice. like a movie night for oh, the adults, cool. but my kids are the babysitters for the uh, parents who are like see. little kids, Very like nice. yeah. like your age. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Did we well, bore you yet? Okay. So now you know. Bye, guys. The exciting life of chemistry teachers yeah. on Valentine's Day. Woo! Woo Rock and roll. Bye.